Derive the slope formula. This is part four of six videos about slope, which is also part of the family of functions series. You may need graph paper or you can download this PDF and print it. Press pause as needed anytime during the video. What we want you to be able to do is given the coordinates of two points on a line, calculate the slope of the line using a formula. But before we use a formula, we should see where it comes from first. That is, let's derive the formula that calculates slope of a line given two points. First of all, let's look at finding the slope of a line using the coordinates of the points with specific numbers. For example, find the slope of the line that contains the points 1, 2 and 9, 8. First of all, we want to plot the points on a grid. 1, 2, and 9, 8. Draw the line containing those two points. Write the ordered pairs on the graph. And draw a right triangle using the points in the segment connecting them as the hypotenuse. And we're going to use blue for the vertical leg and red for the horizontal leg. Now here's going to be a little bit different. I would like you to label the change in y as a difference of two numbers. So in this case, the y coordinates going from green up here to this green is going to be 8 minus 2, which is 6. But I want you to write it as a difference of two numbers. Similarly, I'd like you to label the change in x, this length of this leg, as a difference of two numbers as well. And that would be 9 minus 1 going in the same order as we did 8 minus 2. Calculate the slope. Recall that the slope is the change in y over the change in x, which written with as differences would be 8 minus 2 over 9 minus 1, which is 6 eighths. And then, of course, we simplify that to 3 fourths. So the slope of this line is a positive 3 fourths. Now let's look at finding the slope of a line using the coordinates of a point in general. That is, the coordinates are going to be variables, not specific numbers. So we're going to use x sub 1 comma y sub 1 for the first point, and x sub 2 comma y sub 2 for the second point. And we're going to follow the same procedure we just did, but using variables instead of numbers. Plotting the points, let's say that x sub 1 land 1 comma y sub 1 lands here, x sub 2 comma y sub 2 lands here, just wherever they land. Draw the line as we did before. And then we labeled the ordered pairs on the graph. So again, this was the first one and this was the second one. And we drew a right triangle using these as endpoints of a segment that makes up the hypotenuse of the right triangle. Again, the vertical is a blue leg, the horizontal is a red leg. Label the change in y as a difference. So in this case, the difference of the y coordinates will be y sub 2 minus y sub 1, which we can't simplify because these aren't numbers. Similarly, label the change in x as a difference. And in this case, that'll be x sub 2 minus x sub script 1. Calculate the slope as we did before, change in y over change in x, which will be y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And this is the slope formula. This calculates a slope if you know the coordinates of two points on any line. So summarizing, this is what our graph looks like. This is the names of the points generically, and this is the slope formula. Pause as needed. Resume when you're ready. We encourage you to view video five about slope next, which is calculating slope using the formula we just derived.